السلام علیکم گائز کیسے ہیں آپ امید کرتے ہیں آپ سب خیریت سے ہوں گے خوش ہوں گے اور ہماری دعا ہے کہ ہمیشہ خوش رہیں ہستے اور مسکراتے رہے میرا نام ہے رحمان انور اور میں ہوں محمد اور میں ہوں ظفر اقبال اور آج ہم جس ویڈیو پہ ایک کرنے جا رہے ہیں اس ویڈیو کا ٹائٹل ہے انڈیا از ناٹ ڈائٹی تو دیکھتے ہیں ویڈیو اگر ویڈیو پسند ہے ویڈیو کو لائک چینل کو سبسکرائب ضرور کیجیے گا تو دیکھتے ہیں I am in Gurgaon which is a city Gurgaon. south of Delhi but still part of the Gurgaon. Delhi metro area and in today's video we are going to visit three different places first a super modern area which is a big contrast to the busy oh, Delhi that Gurgaon. most people have in mind very different from like the stereotype Delhi then I'm going to try Indian food in a popular restaurant and this one right here has been recommended to me by locals and finally I will visit a local fun fair where I had a not so good experience I think I just I'm getting scammed here to be honest so what is this part of Metro Delhi like let's yeah. find out feel free to join okay my hotel is actually right next to a busy main road and I hope that I can get a tuk-tuk from here but to be honest I'm actually not sure about that okay this is indeed a very busy road here and yeah I just had a look on Google Maps it should be only like a 10-12 minute ride to where I want to go Namaste. Do you know where I can get a tuk-tuk? I need a tuk-tuk. Gari. Tuk-tuk? Yes. Gari, I'll get it. I'll go there? Yeah? Okay. Tuk here. I thought maybe I can just, you know, like wave down a tuk-tuk. But to be honest, I don't even see any tuk-tuks here. Maybe it would have been easier to just uh, book an Uber from my hotel. But you know, I thought uh, taking an Uber is easy and boring. Okay, I see some tuk-tuks over there. Hello, namaste. You can drive? I want to go to Cyber City. Uh, cyber City. Cyber Hub. Uh, Gurgaon. Gurgaon, Cyber City. Where are you going? To uh, Cyber City. Cyber City. Yeah. yeah. You know? Come. Okay, how much? Kidna? 200 only. 200? Yeah. It's very near. Yeah, yeah, no. So give me a fair price, please. Only five, 200. Because, take, uh, give me tall, tall. Tall? Yeah. 200. Okay. I drive with you or with you? I with you. With you? Okay. Okay, you guys let me know in the comments if 200 is a fair price. Obviously, I'm still new in India, so I don't really know. Cyber Hub. Cyber Hub, yeah. yeah. Alright, drive with him? Yeah. yeah. Okay, but same, no, same price? 200, only 200. But I pay him? Yeah. Okay, done your watch. Okay. I need help here. Hello, namaste. Namaste. Okay, so I'm not sure how this works here now. Maybe he's like a, like a guy like oh, contributing to passengers. Then, uh, or maybe he's collecting a commission later from him, I'm not sure. If you know how this works here, please feel free to share your knowledge in the comments. I'm always curious to learn about these things. So as you can see, the traffic today, at least on this part of the town, is not that bad. In case you're wondering what time it is, it's early afternoon now. So I think that this part of Delhi metro area is not as busy as the Delhi center. So Guruan, the town where we're going now, is basically a satellite city of Delhi. So I think if you drive from Delhi city center to this town, it should be in total around 30 minutes only. Okay, so we are here now, the blue dot, and I want to go to this area right here, which is called Cyber Hub or Cyber City. And let's see how many minutes? Nine minutes. Nine minutes. Oh, to be honest, now I'm pretty sure that 200 rupees is too much for this uh, length of the journey. Let's oh, check it out. I see Microsoft, LinkedIn, and a few other well-known brands, HP. So this seems to be like, yeah, the Cyber Hub. Maybe some tech companies are here. All right, and there on the sign I can see Cyber Hub already. So I think we have arrived. Okay, yeah, first impressions here. It looks pretty decent and nice. Ah, yeah, here's a sign, Cyber Hub. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Right. Thank you. okay, so this was to be honest less than 10 minutes, so I'm pretty sure now that I paid too much. Coffee because you remember my holy video where I was with a local guy and we had tuk-tuk rides together, which were way longer than this tuk-tuk ride. And he told me the fair price for these rides would be 50 rupees usually. So whenever something like this happens in my videos, and this happened many times before that I'm getting overcharged for something. And there's always a controversy going on in my comment section then. There are the people that say, oh, you shouldn't bargain with the locals over a dollar or two. Just pay a bit extra, you can afford it. And on the other side, there are the people that saying like, oh, I'm so sorry, you got overcharged there. This isn't fair, you shouldn't pay. 
four times the price just because you're a foreigner. So sorry for that. So there are always like these two sides of comments in my comment section when I'm getting overcharged for something as a foreigner. So to be honest, I don't really mind now because in the end it's only like two dollars now. So it's not the end of the world for me. But still it feels a bit, you know, there's a negative touch to it when you're getting overcharged like four times. But yeah, feel free to let me know your comments about it in the comments. And I think we have arrived. Check it out. Okay, so I'm through security and the area here looks like this. So we have lots of restaurants here, we have Starbucks. Looks super nice, right? This is definitely not the deli that you have in your head, right? The stereotype deli. So I found a little uh, place here to sit down for a few minutes and I got myself an iced peach chai, which actually tastes very delicious. And yeah, the price for this was 230 rupee. So I guess that an area like this is of course also a bit more expensive than other areas in Delhi. But yeah, overall the area here is super super yeah. nice. Like I totally didn't expect yeah. an area like this to be honest. So we have some shops here like Uniqlo, Nike, JBL and then lots of restaurants here like chain restaurants, western restaurants but also some local places. But everything here looks like very upscale, fancy, posh and absolutely zero chaos here. Everything is clean. So definitely very different from like this stereotype deli that most people have in mind, right? But yeah, area here is not that big actually, so it's like this central square that you can see behind me, and then a few shops down there, a few over there, and a few on the left side here. So in total I walked through the whole area in like five minutes now, so it's not a huge area, but still like a very cozy, nice little place relax, meet with some friends, have dinner, maybe have some drinks. Okay, so this was the cyber hub and I'm trying to find the metro now and then we're going to another area which is not that far away but I think it's similar to this one so I'm curious to check it out and also there's a restaurant over there that has been recommended to me which I would like to check out. Also it's way quieter here than in the areas in Delhi that I have seen that are not like this. So you hear there's not a lot of honking going on here. I'm trying to find the entrance to the metro station I think the metro station is right above me, yeah. but how to enter? Excuse me, how can I enter the metro station? Metro? Elevator? Up? Okay, okay uh, platform. Yeah. Alright, here's the station. Looks pretty empty. I can buy a ticket here to this station, Ivko Chuk. Alright, I'm in the station. As you can see, it's not really busy here. And yeah, I need to change somewhere. Oh, actually, I think we are here, Belvedere Towers, not the Cyber City Station. And then I think I need to change right here. Yeah, Sikandarpur, and then I need to switch to the yellow line. It's one, two, three, four, five stations, I think. But yeah, have a look at the roads here, the traffic, no chaos. So I just wanted to say no honking, but then I think the motorbike uh, just honked. So there's still a little bit of honking going on here, but way, way less than in Delhi city center. So I think the building over there, or the buildings, these are residential areas. So this is probably a more comfortable area to live in. Oh, 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 oh. Be careful because I think in India they have cards that are specifically for females. So I don't want to enter a female oh, car by accident. But I feel like okay here. Yeah. yeah, help me out in the comment section. If you're from India, do the trains have cards that are only for females? So should I be careful where to enter the trains? Yeah, that doesn't seem to be too busy today. But uh, yeah, it looks very decent, proper. Also, the air condition is on here. The temperature is very comfortable. Announcements in English. So first, oh this is interesting, so first in English and then in Hindi. I think you can see the cyber city where we just been to. So it's basically the area right here, around the buildings that you can see. Ah, so we can also see here where we are. So we are here now, cyber city. And then yeah, the green ones are the next ones. So one, two, three and then four. This is where I have to get off to change to the yellow line. And we have arrived at the station where I need to change the line. The writing is in yellow. Does it mean that this is the yellow line? That's what I'm assuming now, so hopefully I'm right. And by the way, I think we are now like basically in the city center of Ur One. By the way, I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce this town. Yeah, I'm actually not sure. Do I need to go towards Samyapur or towards Huda city center? Okay, the friendly security guy told me I need to go up here. And I think uh, the yellow line on the train is meant to signalize that this is the yellow line. Yeah, this is where I want to go. Ivko Chok. So this direction. So I think... Oh, I think this train is coming from Delhi. So this is coming from all the way from New Delhi. 
So that means in theory you can take the metro from Delhi city center until here. And yeah, if you happen to be at a metro station in India, these are the things Attention, that are not allowed. Please. Smoking, drinking and eating, throwing garbage on the floor and spitting. All right. So first thing I need to check how many stations are. Oh, this one is not in English. Ah, but this side is in English. Okay. So ah, I think it's only one station actually. Okay, so you can see the yellow line here. By the way, Google Maps is really good in Delhi. You have all the, the lines of the metros on Google Maps here, so you can always check just Google Maps. Alright, and we have arrived at the station where I wanted to go to. And yeah, you only get a little piece of paper like this, so you have to be careful not to lose it, because you need it to exit the station. Just like this. Alright, here we go. It looks a bit more chaotic down here, so before I go down there, let me actually check uh, the direction that I need to go. So I'm looking for a restaurant now that has been recommended to me, which is called Picanavela. So there's five minutes by car or 18 minutes walking. But to be honest, no. I think I don't no, actually mind walking, you. although it's 18 minutes, but that gives me a better opportunity to see something of the city and maybe stop here and there if I see something. Oh, this doesn't look that nice, right? Oh. This is already a big change compared to the area we just been to. Oh my god, so many flies here, and trash on the floor, oh. oh, this is a big difference. So we have street food here, we have street vendors here, you can buy socks and hats, this is I think soda cane juice, and I think I need to go here, oh and check this out, there's a random cow here, interesting. True, I'm not sure if you can see all the flies here. There's a place here called Dubai Theme Carnival. That looks interesting and it is open, I think. We're going to check out the restaurant and then we're going to come back here to check this out. Oh, and I see homeless people there. Oh, this is definitely a very different area. Just a few metro stops away. Let me double check if I'm on the right road. Uh, yeah, I am. Just straight and then right. Okay. To be honest, although there are plenty of tuk-tuks driving by, not a single one has stopped so far or honked at me and asked if oh, I want to ride. If you remember my holy video where I was in Delhi, there was a tuk-tuk stopping for me like every minute. So I think because this is not a tourist area here, I think the tuk-tuks are not like that aggressively trying to get uh, foreign customers here. Also something that I notice here, I don't really like to mention that, but I want to be honest and real with you. Many people urinate everywhere here, like since I started to walk, which was like, uh, I hold my camera down because there was a guy, so I don't really want to film him. I uh, can't see him anymore. Since I started walking about 10 minutes ago, I already saw four people just urinating by the side of the road. And I'm just wondering why, you know? Hello, namaste. Do you know where I'm looking for the restaurant Pika Navela? Oh no, I, yeah, this side, right? Can I walk through here? Um, there and then right. Can I walk through here? Can? Yeah? Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, but friendly locals here. And I just see there's a nice looking park here. So maybe I can just walk through the park here. There's a sign, park is under renovation. But I still think it looks nice here. And then the restaurant should be somewhere over there. Not that far anymore. I already walked most of the distance. So we have the Maharana Pratap Swan Jayanti Park here. <laughs> Excuse me if my pronunciation is wrong. And yeah, I think you can see the renovation here because I would assume that usually this is a water area. So there's probably water inside, maybe some fountains. But wow, check it out, how nice it looks here. Like imagine now, there's water everywhere here, fountains. We have nice trees here. All right, and that was the little park here. Like five minutes to walk through. And now the restaurant is not far anymore. Excuse me, I'm looking for Bika Navela. Over there, left? Okay, should be there. Yeah. Thank you. By the way, so far the locals are always yeah, friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whenever you are stuck somewhere in India, just yeah, don't be shy to ask someone. Most of the locals, that's my impression at least so far after a few days here, do speak English, at least enough English to help you out a little bit. Okay, so I think this is the area. 
Yeah, it's not as nice as the previous area, but still it doesn't look too bad around here. All right, and here it is, Bika Navela, or Bika Navala, actually, I should say. Hello, namaste. Ooh. I think this is not only a restaurant, it's also a shop. Oh, that looks delicious here already. Wow. And yeah, I have been told that uh, this shop is very popular in India. It's an Indian chain restaurant, I think. And apparently everything here is made fresh every day. So therefore it's always good, fresh and delicious. So I think I'm actually going for something savory now. And I think this is a dish that I have seen before. I forgot the name though. Raj Kachori. Can I get them? Yeah? I order there? Ah, okay. So I think it works like this, you order here, uh, cash counter, okay. Large kachori, yeah, yes, one please. Anything else? What is mausami? Mausami, mausami is like uh, a... Sweet line. That is a sweet line, it's a mausami. Okay, I would like to try that. Yeah. Okay, then one mausami juice. Okay. The price is 358. Okay, to be honest, I never heard about Mausami before. But according to Wikipedia, it is a hybrid between pomelo and mandarin, also known as the sweet orange. I'm not sure if that fruit is actually from India, but to be honest, I've never came across this fruit before. But yeah, it looks like this. So actually, to me, it looks like an orange, to be honest. Thank you very much. Okay, so usually when I'm going to a new country, I always yeah, prepare I, I, I a list of I, I, like 15 to 20 dishes that I must try in the country. Either I ask a local if I know somebody from their country or I just Google it. And this one right here has been recommended to me by locals and also by Google. There are potatoes inside, dal, yogurt, some spices and chutneys. And it is usually topped with cilantro, pomegranate. Okay, here's the juice. Actually, let me try that first. Yeah, it actually tastes very similar to, uh, to orange juice. What is this? Again? What is this? It's a camera. It's a camera? Yeah, I'm filming how I'm eating the food. Ah, you can, you can see yourself here. <laughs> <laughs> this is my first time trying this. So, you are eating this in order to have you on this? Yeah, yeah, I'm filming myself how I eat the food. And then I put it in the internet. So other people can see it. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You are actually of which place? I'm from Germany. Germany. You are from? Germany. Germany. Germany? Germany, yeah, yeah. Things are in Germany. Yeah, we don't have this in Germany. Let's try it. Oh, there's a very fresh, minty flavor to it. He seems to be very uh, surprised about my camera. This is a little camera. Yes. And I film how I eat the food. Yes. <laughs> this is the thing. Anyway, thank you. Thank you very much. You. Nice, you. nice to meet you. I am cross 85. 85? 87 going. Oh wow, lots of respect for that. Nice to meet you. Okay. Enjoy your day. <laughs> oh, what a nice that that that. You have to see how it looks from the inside. So there are so many different flavors in here. So the yogurt in there is sweet, but then there are also some very strong spices in here. I would almost say it's not really spicy, but something in there has very strong spice flavor to it. And then the, the shell from the outside is very crispy. And then here, a bit of potato in there as well. There are so many different things in here. And honestly, the, the deeper I dig, the more things I find in here. So I think we have some nuts here. If you're from India, let me know what time of the day do you usually eat this. Is this like a morning dish or lunch or dinner? But I think, that's my impression, I think this is more like an in-between snack, not really a full meal. Okay, to be honest. I'm almost done eating uh, all of the, the fillings in here. To be honest, it's not 100% my cup of tea. I mean, it's not bad. I can definitely finish this. But I don't think I would order this again because it's just too many different flavors in my mouth. Maybe I need to add more of the yogurt on the side. Yeah, the yogurt is definitely sweet. So I think I'm going to add more of the yogurt. So we have some, some yogurt here on the side. Maybe if I add more of that, that will uh, reduce the, the strong spices or the strong spice flavor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe you're supposed to do it like that. So I'm just going to add more of the yogurt here. Oh yeah, to be honest that makes it way, way better for me. Now that the flavor of the spices is not that strong anymore. Yeah, way better. Okay, excuse me, I was speaking too early. But still, mm, I think this is a one-time trying dish only. But still, I would recommend to try it. 
it's definitely an interesting um, taste explosion, taste experience in your mouth. All right. Wow. All right. Best vlog. क्योंकि यार एक काफ़ी अच्छी उनकी जर्नी रही है क्योंकि एक फर्स्ट टाइम है इंडिया में और एक एक जो जहाँ से उन्होंने स्टार्ट किया है ना वो ही एक बहुत प्यारा एरिया प्यारी था हाँ बहुत प्यारी लोकेशन थी लेकिन आगे फिर जब आए हैं गुड़गांव में वहाँ पर तो यार बहुत एक अलग व्यू अब नज़र आते हैं पहले पहले जब हम स्टार्ट स्टार्ट से देखते थे ना गुड़गांव की पहली वीडियो हमने बनाई थी आज से दो साल पहले और उसमें और इसमें अब काफ़ी ज़्यादा फ़र्क है यार बहुत एक एडवांस हो गया बहुत ज़्यादा है नहीं बाकी काफ़ी ना एक उधर एक आप मतलब के माहौल अच्छा है एक एक्टिविटी को लेकर ना काफ़ी लोग मतलब के आप एक इंजॉय कर सकते हैं लेकिन ज़्यादातर जो फॉरनर आते हैं ना जो जिनका एक फर्स्ट टाइम होता है वो काफ़ी हैरान हो जाते हैं देखकर चीज़ें क्योंकि जब क्योंकि एक जो मतलब कि आप मीडिया के रिलेटेड देख लें जो मीडिया एक इमज अभी भी इंडिया का पेश करता है वो काफ़ी ना अभी भी मतलब के वो एक डटरी टाइप का करता है तो वो एक ना एक वीडियो और न्यूज़ को देख वो अभी भी मतलब कि उनके अंदर भी एक ऐसे ही माइंड सेट होता है कि वाकई अभी तक कुछ भी नहीं एशिया में चेंज हुआ लेकिन जब वो इधर आकर चीजें देखते हैं ना तो इधर काफी ना अब लाइफ एक अप टू डेट है खास करके इंडिया और एक मतलब के चाइना में और भी एशिया के काफी मुल्क हैं जिनमें मतलब के एक काफी चीजें एक मॉडल हो चुकी है लोग पाकिस्तान है उस हद तक नहीं अभी तक जहां तक दूसरी एक कंट्री एक मतलब के किस रेस में शामिल है उधर तो भाई हर चीज मेट्रो वगैरह हर चीज चल रही है ना एक काफी चीजें हैं कि करने वाली तो इसलिए वो एक ना एक हैरान हो जाते हैं हर चीज को देखकर खास करके एक जो एक साइबर एक सिटी को देखकर नहीं गुरुगांव की बात करें तो वहां पे भी काफी शौक से जाते हैं उसके अलावा यार आज उन्होंने बहुत एक अच्छे एरिए दिखाए हैं दिल्ली के और उसके बाद जो उसने एक मेट्रो का सफ़र किया पहले वाला जो मेट्रो थी नहीं शायद उसमें जस्ट लड़कियां ही सफ़र करती हैं या वो उस पोर्शन में बैठ गया गलती से और वो भी एक काफ़ी प्यारी एक मेट्रो थी लेकिन ये कि ये अच्छी बात है एक ये भाई ने काफ़ी अच्छा स्टेप लिया जो पहले एक एरिए फिर उसके बाद मेट्रो फिर एक जो है ना रेस्टोरेंट में गया है वहाँ भी एक अच्छा उनको वहाँ पर चाचा जी मिल गए थे और जो कि एटी प्लस जो है ना वो आप जाओ नहीं चाचा जी हैरान हो रहे थे कि आप मतलब कि कैसे एक कर रहे हैं किसके मतलब साथ बातें बातें कर रहे हैं एक क्योंकि वो वीडियो शूट कर रहे थे तो वो थोड़ा सा कंफ्यूज हो गए थे कि बंदा कोई हला उला तो नहीं लग रहा <laughs> कि मतलब के खुद से ही बातें एक कर रहा है तो काफ़ी ना एक भाई एक अच्छा माहौल है कि इंजॉय भाई कर रहा है उधर खास करके ये काफ़ी अच्छा था लेकिन जो एक चिंता रहती है ना भाई जो इंडिया का व्लॉग देखते हैं खास करके फॉरनर का जो अब वो पैसे मतलब के ज़्यादा दे देते हैं तो नीचे कमेंट्स में काफ़ी लोग बोलते हैं कि यार इतने नहीं बनते थे आपने क्यों दिए अब एकदम से तो उनको नहीं ना पता चल जाता कि हमने एक मतलब के ज़्यादा दे दिए ये तो जब वीडियो बहस बूस करते हैं ना वो इसलिए करते हैं वो कमेंट्स वगैरह पढ़ते हैं उनको पता चल जाता कि यहाँ पे ये करते हैं इतना मतलब के पैसा दो सौ दो सौ रुपए उनके पास कौन सी मतलब की इतना इजी दे लेते हैं एक डॉलरों में तो उनकी होती है करेंसी तो उनको नहीं होता लेकिन जब कमेंट्स देखने हैं तब वो हैरान हो जाते हैं कि ये हमसे ज्यादा तो नहीं मांग रहा है बिल्कुल नहीं मांगता ज्यादा नहीं इतना बनता भी है यार बन जाता कुछ नहीं हो जाता है साल लूटा नहीं है तो उम्मीद करते हैं आपको पसंद आए की वीडियो अगर पसंद आए वीडियो को लाइक चैनल को सब्सक्राइब जरूर कीजिएगा मिलते हैं नई वीडियो के साथ तब तक के लिए गुड बाय टेक